Hotel Oscar still reeks of blood and meat. The broken bones of the T-Rex are piled up with the rock and coal. It certainly isn't the neatest cave in the world, but it's one that belongs to Hilmer and Caterpillar. In the last, Hilmer struggled with the smokers. The meat kept falling off, the berries shriveling up and getting caught in the heat. But now, the balance is just right. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm in a Wood. And yes, I was speaking about the fun times that we we're having in the last episode with the charcoal smokers. Thank you to every single one of you in the comments that posted theories and suggestions and, you know, fixes. It doesn't just help me out, but it helps everyone else out that's currently playing as well. And it seems we have somewhat rectified the problem. It comes from loading charcoal in off the ground, or so it seems. And even if we are getting that error, we can just keep on trying and eventually the smoker will fire. We just might produce a few random items in between then and now. They burn up instantly in a fire if you chuck them in there, so if you want to try and manage that to get rid of them, I highly recommend you do that. And then it's like it never happened. So all the smokers upstairs are firing at this stage, turning our smoked meat into dehydrated meat and also processing all of those blackberries that we had sitting there as well. So. That's some good news. Now today, to start things off, we're going to have a look at the crafting menu because every single time we update, there's new cool stuff to see. The first one was the bronze sword, uh, which we can actually make now. We just need some bronze and uh, we can make an actual sword, which is pretty sweet. There is the bronze mace, the bronze spear, and the spear is definitely like, you know, hmm, that's tempting to me. It's a, It's got reach attacks, so, you know, it's good. Under food, let's see what we've got. In meat, we've got fried brain. Ah, there we go. We just need to have an egg to fry along with it. Um, deep, deep fried brain. Ooh, boy. Ah, we can make meatballs now. Uh, grilled sweetbreads. I do like that we are getting grilled variations of the, you know, the offal. It means that we might be able to make more use of them. There is humble pie, also known as humble pie, made with chopped organ meats, not half bad, and it's really good for you. So yet again, more use for those organs, which is nice to see. Uh, just a straight up meat pie as well. It might be a variation on it because I feel like we've had meat pies before in the past and it looks like under veggie we do have a few more things fruit pies there and a vegetable pie too neat okay under other we've got something else what do we have Italian seasoning right we just need to have some wild herbs and some garnet cloves to be able to mix up that fragrant batch under armor we have the bronze helm here and i'm seeing some cool stuff down there mercenary coat mercenary pants that's really neat so the bronze helm we seem to be able to make it with fur pelts or leather patches uh that's cool very cool just having a look it seems to have a varying different um kind of like coverage and protection over the different areas the eyes versus the head etc it's pretty cool it is pretty cool. Now, mercenary coat here. So we are using an army jacket. I see. I see. Or a combat blouse and mercenary pants. That's that's cool. Whether or not that's something we're going to be able to do, I guess we'll see. Under here, we do still have some other things, some more bronze helmet variations. Under torso, the bronze cuirass, which is just, that. that's very cool. Surprisingly, though, it doesn't actually give us that much protection. No more so than we'd get from leather armor, really. So, yeah, it's not particularly well designed, but it does the job, supposedly. It's a single piece curious made from bronze. And then, obviously, there's the large and small variations of that. Under arms, yeah, bronze, van braces, it's cool. It's nice that, you know, we have the option to just go straight into bronze and stick in bronze as well. Which, you know, that's cool. I like that. Under other, it looks like we have some more tools. And as you can see, we can make a lot of tools. Hey, we actually do need to make the pair of flat jaw tongs eventually. We won't worry about that now. That's a project for another day. But we have a oil powered manual press. Oh, it's a manual oil press, I guess, to get oil from things. Cool. It looks like under materials, we've got some more options. Lump of budget steel. 
Ah, what is budget steel going to be for us? Oh, it's just from scrap metal. Neat. Okay, and that, that is all of the new things that we can craft at this stage, thanks to updates in the world. Now, to get started, I really do want to work on that polishing stone. Many of you have pointed out that, well, the thing that's really holding us back is the speed napping skill. If we have a look at this, it's giving us five times the time. So really it would be taking only about a day to make this thing. But yeah, it's taking five times the time and it increases our chance of failure as well. If we can get our speed napping skill up, we'd be looking good. Our speed napping at the moment is on 18%. It's just in the proficiencies down here. So I'd like to be able to see if we can get that up. And there's one thing that we can make that I've actually been wanting to make for a little while, which is a stone kern. Originally, I wanted to make this instead of the mortar and pestle so even though it's going to take us 14 hours to make this thing i think it's worth it because it will give us a chance to get our speed napping up it's taking five times the amount of time because yet again it's the speed napping that we don't have but this will give us a chance to improve that proficiency so ah, let's get to it i say let's get to it we're going to use the stick that's on our person and we're just going to chip away at that we will take breaks throughout the day to make sure that we have something to eat we still have lots of fresh fruit down here that we're going to be uh, just chewing on. All right, we're at 50% and we are very hungry still. Or rather, we're very hungry yet again. So we're just going to have more of these berries. We're full. And uh, let's just see how we're looking on the speed napping. We're at 30%. So we're, <laughs> we're slowly but surely getting there. I do want to go and have a look on you know, the stuff that we have upstairs just to see how it's going. Okay, and it is, it's done, it's done, which is nice. So let's go start to remove the food from here. Neat, so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna gather everything up here and then we're gonna separate the things that we need to fire again. Oh, we don't need to fire anything. It's all dehydrated. Neat, okay, that's cool. So we're just onto the berries now. So what I'm gonna do here is go and remove the charcoal charges from each of these. It looks like there's yeah only so much left in each of them and i'm going to refuel it all manually so yeah i'm going to try and wield as much of this charcoal as possible oh good and we can actually wield the whole thing that does make it a lot easier i think at this stage what i'm going to try and do i'll fill this first one entirely 2000 charcoal into that and let's just hmm, hmm. <laughs> i'll play it safe we'll wield the berries 80 berries into that one there. Okay, so I'll put the food in this one as well first, and then just down here. Neat. Okay, so I should be able to see exactly how much charcoal we're going to need to put in each of these, I think. Yep, so we need 143. So we'll go reload, and we'll go 143, just like that. This one only needs 500, so chuck 500 into there. And over here, it already has charcoal in there. Does it? I don't remember putting charcoal in there. Okay. <laughs> well, oh boy. Here we go again. Let's see. Light it. And it actually just works. It just bloody works. Ah, oh, amazing. Look at this. Fantastic. Problem solved. We got there in the end, didn't we? Let's just leave the rest of this charcoal here. And we'll take this stuff downstairs. Well, we've reached the end of the day. We are tired. We are currently at 34% on speed napping. And how far through this are we? We're at 67%, so we'll be able to work on it some more in the morning. And we'll... Oh my god. Caterpillar. Oh my god, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Why? 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 I'm heartbroken. I'm absolutely heartbroken. So our fire, our fire went out. And... Hilma and myself... In the dark, I didn't see. But Caterpillar must have crawled into the fireplace. 
and we started the fire in there. I, I cannot believe that. Ah. Oh. That is... Oh. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. This is, this is the worst thing that has happened yet. And although Hilma's mood isn't affected, it, it, this is definitely affecting her mood. Just not knowing. Ah, oh, that's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. We are not going to have a good sleep tonight, Hilma. Hilma, close your eyes and we are going to have to get up in the morning and just focus on work. Good night. We wake up and I don't know how much sleep we actually did manage to get there. We're very hungry and we're thirsty. Let's just get to eating more of these berries that are here. There's a lot of blackberries, so we'll just eat until we're completely full and then we'll drink after a little while. Actually, you know what? We should use some of that cattail jelly. We'll use a little bit on our leg. So it will slowly heal in time. We need to make a memorial. Definitely. We will be making a marker to remember Caterpillar. That is one of the worst disasters that could possibly happen down here. I miss you already. Well, Hilma, we just need to... We need to try and stay focused. I can't even remember if we grabbed everything last night. No, I think we fired some more. So, back to the surface we go. Ryan's still out here. Safe as can be for now. Let's remove food from the smoking rack. Let's just have a look at it. Yep, it's looking good. Let's take it all out, thank you. We'll drag that back downstairs. Well, we powered through. We have managed to make our kern. We messed up once during that. We got our speed napping to 44%. So, definitely better than where we were. We can also just go back in and have a look and see what we can make proficiency wise with speed napping. Perhaps something that doesn't take as long. We could just try again and again to make these stone choppers. They don't take as long to make, although that's the thing. I guess, does the completion make it better, or does, is it time spent that gets you your proficiency up? Not sure. We have quite a few flaking rocks, which we can use for this. And if we just have a few stone choppers left over, that's fine. It's all part of the process, I suppose. We use the one that's on our person, and we pretty quickly finish that. We don't need the light on at the moment. That's one of the reasons why I didn't have fire, or rather firewood, in that spot there, which we would have automatically refueled. <sighs> Trying to conserve wood, and we lost our friend because of it. Yeah. Well, let's see where we're at now. Yeah, still only at 46, so uh, if we were only getting like a little bit each time, wouldn't make much sense to do it. I think we're going to have to keep the fire going at the moment because we're just getting too cold otherwise. So even though I was trying to conserve wood before, yeah. Ah, I'm, I'm not going to forgive myself for that. That is, I am very sorry to all the watchers out there. Right, we just made another rock and having a look at that, we, we are going up a little bit each time. We're on 48% at the moment. Let's just have a look at one more. We're very wary at the moment now though. Okay, 51. Yeah, it's so, it's so slow that I think we're probably just going to have to start making the polishing stone and just accept that it's going to take most of the rest of our last days of summer. We still got quite a bit of wood left over, so I am happy about that, but I'm, I'm cautious that, or rather I'm wary that, you know, the temperature is going to start changing soon. It's going to take us a while to make cloves, so having proper fabric cutting tools is going to make a difference. So we are going to want to try and get that polishing stone up and running so that we can actually make that damn thing. Okay, I think we're going to start the process. It's going to take a long time, but we will get better 
and oh it's it's already better 3.9 okay so we've already saved a few days by getting our skill up higher and what i'm hoping is that as our skill improves the time necessary will go down i don't know if it keeps the time you know like when you start this thing i can't be certain on that but we are going to get it started oh man okay <laughs> We didn't even get a percentage done. We are exhausted at this stage, so we are going to have to go to sleep. Let's have a look. 11 hours on the fire. That's fine. I do want to eat some more before we go to sleep, just because we've only had a moderate intake today. So, oh, yeah, I think we might want to see if we can quickly whip up some lard. Yeah, that doesn't take long at all. Well, I say that. Let's just do two lots of lard, and we'll just go straight into eating the lard yep huge intake that's what we need and we will sleep yet again okay all right alertness comes fast that's something and we wake up actually before first light sure sure we're gonna start off with lard and we can see that yeah it isn't it isn't healthy for us like we do get the minus to our health so that's when I say it isn't healthy for us, I mean just purely in a mechanical sense, it isn't healthy for us. Um, I know that we are burning those calories, but um, yeah, it's still it's still rough, it's still rough. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that we convert this fat into tallow before it kind of spoils. And we we are I am keeping an eye on the tallow down here as well because once that starts to get closer to spoiling, we're going to turn it all into animal cooking oil, just so that we have a whole heap of that stuff. So. Let's have some water. We're going to have to have some more in a little bit. I think I'm actually going to have to go fill up another pot before too long. Yeah. But to start off today, um, we're just going to continue working on that craft. Hey, I managed to get to 10%. That's a, that's a start. <laughs> Still hard to tell how much time is actually passing by today. Right, we need to, we need to get some nice clean water. Uh, so, I need that canning pot wherever it is. Right, so the other one has lye in it at the moment. We've got a clay pot with glycerol in it too. We definitely need to make sure that we keep a clay pot so that we can actually just do cooking. <laughs> yeah, so I want to see if I can just unload some of these things. Yeah, we've got stomachs here that we can go and fill up. There we go. That was the willow bark tea. Ah, there's still some left over. Okay. Um, that we can probably just pour on the ground. There we go. <laughs> Now the canning pot of lye, we're going to pour that into a container. We'll say a large sealed stomach. And then the rest of it, I don't really want to keep that much around, but I guess we'll fill up the other sealed stomachs for now, and then we're just going to pour the rest on the ground up there yet again. Horrible. Okay, time to fill up our container, our clay canning pot with water, and then we'll put that into the fire. And let that start to do its work. Okay, oh boy. Um, as soon as we get to extremely weary, we, we just can't do anything. We are just like completely tired. Uh, we're at 63% napping though, so I think that is kind of, you know, speeding us up. I'd be intrigued to see what the time of day is because I am I am concerned that this is like really intensive work for us. Um, I thought it was just brisk, but um, maybe it is a little bit more intensive than I thought it was going to be. Let's pop our head outside. I guess the other thing that we're going to need to keep my eye on is our uh, crop here and see when that's done. We are towards the end of the day, so I feel like that's still some progress made. <sighs> we could try and chop down a tree, couldn't we? Well, we don't have the tools on us at the moment. Yeah, and we don't want to do that while we are too tired. Honestly, we might just want to try and work out or something like that. We'll check our athletics and see where we're at. Yeah, we'll drop down, so we'll just we'll just quickly do a little bit of athletic work. Yeah, it takes barely any time at all. It's just a little bit of crunches that we're doing. And we'll even do some throwing practice as well. We do need to be able to see to be able to do it. There we go. And we've got our throwing practice back up to two. And I think that's as far as that can possibly take us. Yeah, just up to two. Honestly, the best thing that we could probably do right now is just sleep. We're not tired, but as long as we can rest, then we can kind of get rid of our weariness. Um, yeah, because that just, it slows us down so much. I cannot, I, yeah, I cannot stress enough how it just slows down our work, uh, massively. 
We could just sit for a little while and see if that will do anything for us. We are probably going to want to chuck in some extra loggage. Oh, and the water is clean, so we'll just go and put that out into that fire ring. Okay, let's drink some of that before we go to sleep. Okay, well, we actually managed to get our weariness to moderate just by, like, resting for a little bit there. Uh, so we can do a little bit more work today. I'm going to eat some crackling before we do, though. Just, you know, really push in those calories. Damn, we just, we ate a lot. Um, okay, we won't do the tallow yet. We'll do that before we go to sleep. Okay, all right. And the sun has set at this stage, so I feel like it's probably worth us trying to sleep now. Actually, let's just give it a second. Got to 16. As long as we're not too weary. All right, yeah, let's call it there. Very weary. <laughs> oh, we ate all of our lard without me realizing. Damn, okay. Um, <laughs> let's make a little more. Two lots of that. And, um, oh, we messed up. We messed up and we lost um, a chunk of fat. Well, I guess we'll just go to sleep then. <laughs> After we have something else to eat. Okay, good morning. Day 24. We will start our day off by making some lard. There we go. We succeeded this time here. And we're going to go and knock back that hot lard. Lovely. And while we are upset, I think we should still be able to craft. Let's see. Yes, we can. Excellent. Now let's tire ourselves out with this. Okay, we got to extreme weariness there. We're at 33%. Our speed napping is at 79% though, so it's definitely getting better. Yet again, we do need to have more to eat, so we're probably just going to dive straight back into the lard <laughs> yet again. Oh boy, I'm just thinking of that picture now of uh, Hilma and a caterpillar. Dog, oh, I can't. This is too hard. Outside we go for now. Okay, it is yet it's at the end of the day yet again. Oh boy. I think we're probably going to be right at the very end of summer by the time that we finish this damn thing. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, back in we go. And you know what, we are actually tired now, so we'll probably go to sleep right away. It's just so much lonelier here now. I'm going to put that blindfold on, and we will actually have something to drink before we go to sleep. Okay, we wake up, and I have no idea what time of day it is. We're going to take off that blindfold. I feel like it's quite late because I just saw it tick over to day 25, so we could be just past midnight at this point, which, you know, hmm... Oh, okay. Right. The eggs are rotten down here, these bird eggs, so they may hatch. We we may have some friends down here. Maybe. Four days left on the fat at this point, so we are just going to go and convert more of that into lard, because we know that that's going to be helpful for us, because, um, well, it's going to help us actually put on some body weight, and we stand a pretty good chance at doing that. i tell you what, we're actually going to sit down here, and see if this helps, because we're actually sitting on something. We might not be as wary. I don't know. Worth a shot. I am actually seeing the percentage go up a lot faster now. Oh, okay, there we go. Extreme wariness. We're at 70% done. Do not put it in the bloody fire, Rikon. Okay, let's see how we are looking now. Uncomfortable. Wearing something soft under your hard armor. Huh? What? Interesting. What is making us be uncomfortable. Oh, we're so close to getting that there. Um, we aren't wearing armor, but I guess maybe the grass skirt is now uncomfortable or something like that. That could be a new tag that's on it. Nothing there that leads me to believe that it's uncomfortable, but let's just have a look at this here. It is very bulky. It's worn next to the skin. That's our chest wrap. Uh-huh. Birch bark shoes backpack and the loop of rope it might be that because we have these two on at the moment it's causing us to be uncomfortable possibly but it's uh it's kind of across it's across our legs interesting our right foot and our left foot and our leg let's just see what's going on there so grass skirt birch bark shoes oh is it it's not the sheath strange very strange yeah i wonder if that's something that will go away or not it's reducing our speed, but uh, yeah, and it's actually giving us a little bit of pain. Hmm, interesting. We're gonna knock back some lard for now. Drink some water if we can, mm, can't fit it in yet, so we'll do that later. Uh, I do want to see what the time of day is. Okay, yeah, midday. <laughs> we did get up pretty early. Now, we aren't tired at the moment. What we could try and do is just lie down on the ground, like go prone and see if that will help us when it comes to resting. 
we are seeing that we are, you know, somewhat rested here. Let's just go plonk ourselves down on the stool here. And I'll, I'll move some of the things off the stool because, like, I, I don't know if that's going to be impacting us here or not. We are sitting, you know, with a whole heap of lumps of steel and whatnot. Activity is none. We're in this transition, so we, we should be getting better now. Let's just try... Actually, you know what? Let's go prone in here and see if that will help. We'll just wait. 1800 heartbeats. Wait again some more. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't... Oh, okay, there we go. That that helped a little bit. Back to weary. Wait some more. Okay, moderate. That's better. We like that. So sometimes that's all that we need to do. And we'll actually wait until we can get a little bit more of that moderate back. That'll do us, I think. Yet again, we'll eat a ridiculous amount of lard and we'll drink some of that clean water. <laughs> we'll definitely need to have some more of that later on. And let's see if we can continue working on this thing. Slowly but surely, we are getting there and it is night now and we're going to stop at 80%. And we are now proficient at speed napping. So, we'll be able to work on that some more in the morning. Um, honestly, what's funny is that I don't think we're going to use speed napping after this point. <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, let's have a look at that fire. 41 minutes, so we will go chuck some more in. We're down to our last log in this pile. We do have more wood, but that's kind of our, you know, that's our side wood. So we're probably going to have to do a day of wood chopping. And it'll be good to check on the crops as well. For now, though, before we go to sleep, I do need to have that water that I was promising that I was going to drink. And we should probably have some of these grapes because they, they don't have that much time left on them. Knock them back. That's fine. We'll go with that. And we will go to sleep. Are you kidding me? You feel that you need to eat more calorie-dense food? You've got to be joking. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Try eating 5,000 plus calories. Uh, actually, you know what? That's probably <laughs> that's probably about right. Oh, dear. Well, it just it seems like a lot of food, you know? It feels like a lot in the way of calories. <laughs> We're actually starting our day off hydrated, which I like to see that. Um, we've got one thing of lard left, but we do have all this crackling that we can go and eat. We've got four days left on the chunks of fat. Okay, I feel like we're pretty good this morning. Back onto the stool we go. Upset as we are, we're going to see if we can finish this damn thing off. 90%. And there we go. We have a polishing stone. Bravo. Bravo, Hilma. We got there in the end. Day 26 of summer. But we got there. Right, popping over here. Um, we've got three weeks on these reptile eggs. We're just going to sit on them for now. Not literally sit on them, but you know, we'll just... We'll leave them there for the time being. We'll have more of our crackling. Have some water to wash it all down. And now, we can have a look at some other crafting. Proper crafting. So we're actually going to have to make some more bronze first before we can do it. But what I was wanting to make is this wonderful thing. Oh, oh, we did. Okay, good. For a second, I was like, did we not need to have the freaking polishing stone? We do, because it's a tool with grinding of two or more. And the polishing stone has that. So it it, it is a very useful thing for us to have right now. We need to have three bronze to be able to do it. And it's going to take us nearly 12 hours to do it because it's uh, bladesmithing and redsmithing. Uh, so let's have a look at the bronze, first of all, which will help improve our um, redsmithing. How much do we need again? Let's have a look. Three bronze. Three bronze. And uh, we can easily make that. Nice. And we do get a fair bit of time saving from this. Yeah, let's, let's go for an hour if we can. 17 bronze. Let's not mess it up though, please. Do not have enough charges. Oh, we need to refuel our forge. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll get the charcoal from the surface. But yeah, we definitely need to have some more logs because we are going to need more charcoal, right? Nothing else has kind of grown or changed up here at the moment. We're before midday at this stage. Let's wield that charcoal. We'll head downstairs and just... Yeah, there's nothing in that one. All right. 220 charcoal. Oh. Put how many? We've got a lot more charcoal there. Oh, I think we should be fine. We pick up... Oh, because we took the charcoal out of there. I see. Okay, we've got a fair amount of charge now. Yeah, no, we should be able to do that. Perfectly fine now. We will go for 17. 
And damn, that was fast. That's a whole heap of bronze for us. We'll just drop it to the side there. And do we want to jump straight into trying to make these shears? Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Look at all of this. So cool. We can make this small cuirass. We can make the axe, uh, the sword, the spear as well. But yeah, no, what we are after is the uh, shears here. It's saying the recipe will take four times longer than normal. Honestly, at this stage, 11 hours, bah, that's a walk in the park for us. <laughs> All right, we'll spend the time. Okay, and we'll stop there just around 50% as we are at the end of the day and we are very hungry and whatnot. So we'll have our crackling knock that all back we're probably just gonna have to make a whole heap more lard tomorrow have the last of the grapes and we can just have the grape leaves as they are not super satisfying but we'll do it and we'll eat some of the smoked meat lovely okay we should be ready to sleep yet again ah i did not check the fire but we seem to be okay and the fire was going it's too bright to sleep interesting uh, the sun must just be rising at the moment. Okay, let's make ourselves some morning lard. Yeah, we'll spend an hour making six lots of it. There we go. <laughs> Knock that lard back. And we'll continue working on our little project here. And the fire goes out because, yeah, that was the last of our logs in that pile. So into the emergency log pile. Drop two there. Move one into here. Start that fire. And there we go. We have bronze shears. This is a big deal for us. These shears have fabric cutting. That's going to make us... It's just going to allow us to make so many things now. Clothes. Proper, actual clothing. This is good. This is very, very good. And as much as I want to jump straight into making clothing, because uh, we should be able to do that now, well, yes, there, there still are a few things that we will need. Strings or buttons or whatnot. Actually, buttons are probably the main thing. So we'll have a look at wooden buttons and bronze buttons and see which is the best for us to make. But before all of that, we are going to need some more wood. It's just going to be irresponsible if we don't do that. So we're at moderate weariness at the moment. We should be able to chop down maybe one or two trees at the moment. We'll, we'll do one first, chop into logs, and then go from there. Because we also need that charcoal. You know what, I'm just going to take off our shoes for now, because we're still, yeah, we're still uncomfortable. That's weird. I guess, you know what, it's probably because we need to be wearing socks. It's, that's it. It's probably, we need to be wearing socks, which I love that that's finally a thing, because the idea of wearing armor and wearing nothing underneath of it, yeah, that ain't great. That ain't great. That's going to be horribly uncomfortable. And I know sometimes people can get picky about extra things like that getting added in, but I do like it. And what I'd also like to see eventually, and I know this, is <laughs> not everyone's going to see the same way as me on this, but we did drag a T-Rex back, something that weighs multiple tons. I feel like there should be haul limits to what we can carry as characters, what we can haul along the ground unaided, because then that puts more of an emphasis on us making things like travois or other things like, you know, having a pack animal that can kind of drag something. And I know that's the head cannon that we used that Ryan was helping us pull the T-Rex along, but um, yeah, it would be, I feel like that's something that's going to be needed eventually. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I could be horribly wrong. Uh, so, do we want to chop down any trees and try and knock our way into the cave? Not really. Not after what's happened so far. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Oh boy, I'm partially tempted to try and just knock down this hickory tree because surely it can't Surely it can't damage the whole cave. I imagine it'll hit that and it'll roll off. It'll hit that tree. I'm going to try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to chop down a tree. We're going to chop down that tree. And we're going to tell it to go forwards. Yes. Ha ha ha. Success. Wonderful. Okay, so this is also a just a straight dead tree. Um, the worst case scenario is that it would knock down three which means that we could potentially have a issue there. Don't know how I feel about that. What did we get from this one though? Uh, nothing. We just got limestone, nothing else. Oh, 
important thing, we can actually make a pick now. So I, I'm going to stop doing this because that's ridiculous <laughs> and it's super, super dumb. Um, yeah, let's just get to doing some actual chopping here. Get ourselves some logs, you know. Oh boy, that last one took us a long time. Let's get hauling. We're going to bring all this stuff back. And I know I'm hauling stuff after just saying that we shouldn't be able to haul so much stuff. I can do it now, so I'm going to keep on doing it. <laughs> All right, we're going to chuck two logs in here and that splintered wood. We're going to get that fired. Let's head downstairs with the logs that we have. So before I get distracted with, um, you know, trying to make a pick and stuff like that, I, for one, we do need more wood, 100%, but I think we could have a look at some buttons tomorrow. Yeah, let's check this fire, see if it's going to last the night. Seven hours, it should be good to do it. Eat some more lard before we go to sleep. Satisfied, slaked. Let's lay our head down to day 28. Okay, we wake up. It is, well, it's the morning. Uh, we probably did need to put in a log. That's fine. We'll get one started now. As it is, as well, it's before the sunrise at this point. Let's go have our breakfast day. And I know that we are just eating lard at the moment, but it's saying that we need to have a high calorie diet. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so now that we have that done, let's have a look and see how long, well we'll just search buttons. So bronze buttons take an hour to make, we get 5 buttons, the wooden ones, we get 50, 50 freaking buttons, it takes 3 hours, but we get 50 buttons, we need to have rosin or wax to be able to make them though. And we also need to have a tool with drilling, I was so sure that we have made the like the basic drill drilling of one or more or a tool with punch of one ah bone punch okay well we can make a bone punch easily enough an hour and 39 minutes for us to be able to do that a little bit of a time sink but it's uh we do need to make sure that we can actually make the other things though either wax or rosin so rosin is ah we need to have a distilling tool and pine so it's probably getting the sap from that and just for straight up wax, we cannot make, we can make it, well, I was going to say, we can, sure, sure, we can make a still, we can't really make a still, <laughs> that is a lie, I mean, we can make a copper pot, we can make the tubing, it would literally just be the drill, I mean, sure, we definitely want to be able to make booze eventually, okay, so it seems like at this stage, the, even though we get more buttons from the wooden route, it is going to take us longer to make, the bronze, is still going to take us a while but we are going to get better at uh, red smithing and i kind of like the idea of us having you know these cool little buttons it looks like we're probably using the clay to make a mold and then just you know melting the bronze into it we do save time when we're doing more than two units so i would like to try and do two here yeah i mean like that's that's pretty good all right an hour and 40 minutes let's smack some buttons out and the sun still hasn't risen yet Oh boy, but we have buttons. Yes, buttons, we have them. Let's have a look and see what we've opened up to us at this stage. But obviously a lot of stuff. We can make a freaking leather jacket. We can make a leather kilt. Ah, yes, cool stuff. This stuff takes a long time to make. It really does. Um, what I would like to make, first of all, and something that we probably don't even need buttons for, is underwear. You know? I feel like I feel like we need to have something. Leather hot pants are an option. <laughs> Let's actually just head to the legs so we can see what uh, what's possible for us at this stage. Now the, the leather chaps have really decent protection. They're worn outer. We'll probably have armor on the outside though, so we won't worry about that. The hot pants, not a bad option. <laughs> it is really just covering the hips though, so which uh, you know uh, that's what underwear would do. But yeah, what I think we probably want is just a a straight up loincloth you know nothing super complex or anything like that and the leather one does give us some protection the fur one obviously is going to be warmer whereas the leather one has no warmth right now i think that's okay so what we do need to have here are patches we need to have patches to make a leather loincloth that seems so strange it takes us 16 minutes to make but yeah we do need to have oh rags okay rags work as well <laughs> okay we can pull together some rags, right? Yeah, yeah, it takes a little while. Oh, we can we can make one. 
Oh, it's using the sinew. No, we don't want to do that because the sinew is what we use for everything else. Really, what we need is plant fiber and a fair amount of it at that. We are going to have a lot more plant fiber once we actually harvest our cattails. But um, we're not going to get it from much else right now. What we could do is take apart our blindfold and that should, that should theoretically give us back our yeah the bandana and then the bandana will give us two rags i feel yeah that's okay we haven't used our blindfold that much okay we recover one bandana and then we'll take apart that one there 45 minutes eh okay two rags two sinew that should be all that we need and indeed that is all that we need okay happy to use those leather patches let's make this thing we will use the plant fiber instead of the sinew and there we go wow Luxury, bloody luxury. And now our legs are still uncomfortable. Interesting. I guess it's also because of our feet needing to have something that kind of is worn close to the skin. Possibly, possibly. Not an expert on it, but yeah, we probably need to have some kind of socks or just, you know, shoes that aren't as uncomfortable. Honestly, just for science, let's take them off. Let's take off the birch bark shoes and we'll see okay our legs still uncomfortable at this stage and i think it's because of the birch bark ankle sheath and it's probably wearing down so i think what i'm going to want to try and have a look for here is something that works as a mid layer for us we have lots of outer options i feel like instead of like a duster or a trench coat or something like that we are going to want to have armor on the outside so we need to have a look and see what is going to be available to us to just to just wear on our torso just like normal i think for the sake of mobility when it comes to armor we are probably going to want to go for leather armor encumbrances of six let's see how that kind of compares to some of the other stuff the fur body armor <laughs> yeah that's uh, an encumbrance of 11 but then yeah like the iron greaves oh only three leg encumbrance for some pretty decent protection bronze greaves look pretty good to me the van braces too the cuirass is is all right 10 encumbrances middle of the road and plus yeah we only know how to make the iron greaves we could end up just doing a bit of a mixture really yeah i think we might end up going for the leather body armor because the cuirass is well it's good i feel like the leather body armor is kind of on par ah uh, that is also covering the legs I neglected to see that, but the protection there is good enough as it is. Well, I think that's kind of got me coming back to Gambesons um, for our regular layer, which we can do. The main thing is rags. Rags or some kind of cotton sheet, even the patchwork stuff. And all of that kind of comes from either weaving plant fiber together. So yet again, that is something that we are most certainly going to be able to do. It's just... Uh, further away at this stage of course we are closer now to actually being able to get to that iron age and so i think to finish the day off let's have a look and see what we'd need to actually get this bronze pick going so we need to have flat jaw tongs and then we just need to have some short cordage pieces so tongs first and we can make them now it's four hours for us to make it it's going to give us some manual tooling skill and it's going to be using some of the steel that we have so we can kind of use a combination just two lumps of steel or the chunk of steel as well hmm what's going to be better for us in this instance i think we're just going to go for the lumps for now it took us a fair bit of work but we got there let's have some food more lard of course more lard and having a look at the short cordage pieces we can make the four necessary we are slowed down at the moment crafting wise and it's probably to do with our mood. Ah, we're going to push through. We'll actually play our bone flute for a little while. And we have our cordage pieces. Oh, and then we just need sticks, of course. So using the disassembly menu here, we are going to take some log sticks, crack them up, and we'll do that one more time, just to be safe. There we go. That should be all that we need. Yeah. 14 hours and 15 minutes for us to do it. We are getting better at some of those um, skills though. Yeah, look at that. Red smithing is at 78 at the stage. Principles of level working is actually at 94, so we're quite close there. All right, yep, yeah, let's um, start this thing. And we're playing our flute while we're working on it. Ha! Huh. Oh, do-it-yourselfer. Right, take this thing, 
put it in that thing, and voila. Fabrication skill of seven gained. Okay, I didn't realize that that would have actually improved us there. Let's stop crafting for a moment, because uh, I don't think we're going to get this thing done today. Still, 21% is pretty good, but we have seven fabrication skill now. So let's have a look and see what that's unlocked for us. Okay, we've got two new things, dive knife and metal sword. Okay, those are the new fabrication seven things that we can make. Metal sword, I imagine that's uh, nice. And then under other, we have, let's see, oh, tools and containers. So under tools, we'll go all the way down here. Entrenching tool, which that's really good. That's digging three. Uh, lots of stuff that we'd need to be able to make something like that though. A folding knife, fractional distillation apparatus, a proper pickaxe, which that's e even better. It requires an anvil of three though. Separation funnel, a sewing kit, and a wood saw. You gotta get this an anvil three thing. So complex metalworking. Under containers, a three liter glass jar. So yeah, we've got our fabrication skill up there. And well, today wasn't a great episode. It was in some aspects. We made a whole heap of progress. We actually got that polishing stone done, which means that, well, we have those fabric shears now and we can actually make body armor for ourselves. That I am happy with, but we did lose a friend today. We lost Caterpillar in an accident that Hilma will not forget for a very long time. Once we have nails, once we can make planks, we'll be making a little memorial to Caterpillar outside. We are playing this howling piece on our bone flute, thinking about our friend and that we wanted to try and keep her safe, keep her down here, away from the horrors upstairs away from the portal storms. But even after all of that, it was our own error, both mine and Hilma's, that led to an unfortunate accident. I still don't know how it happened so quickly, and I think it probably was because Caterpillar was injured to begin with. Horrible, really. Yet, we must carry on. We must survive. And part of me wonders, maybe it was one of the Watchers. Maybe they influenced this order of events. Hilma is doing very well right now. Better than I think any of them could have expected. Better than any of us could have expected. And after all, we are the Watchers too. And so, Watchers, I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, tragedies aside, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.